What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to take out the Flex Seal Sentry. Now this boss is actually pretty easy. There are a couple things that you do need to note before you go in. Um, as the fight progresses the longer it takes for you to fight and defeat the boss uh, the more water will fill the boat. And as far as him being really easy, as soon as the water starts getting above waist height, it's actually really hard because now you can't dance around that column that's right in the middle. And uh, as far as the bosses, the, this is actually one of the more easier bosses that I've fought. Uh, the trick that you want to kind of do is just use the pole in the middle to kind of separate yourself and him. But also make sure you be mindful and attack the blunt side of, of the Flexio Sentry. And mainly because the blade side attacks a little bit more faster and um, he's just not one, he's just not the side that you want to fight. You want to fight the one that's a little slower in his moves. He has three move sets, and one of them he extends out like that. And that could be dangerous, but if you picked up your Drain Lake Shield that absorbs 100% physical uh, damage, then you're pretty much good to go. And as you can see right there, the blade side of him is very, very dangerous. You can get yourself caught up in a lot of stamina loss if you keep doing so. I automatically switch back to the blunt side because that's just the better side that you want to fight. And uh, as you can see, as this fight progresses, water will start slowly and slowly rising. It was at ankle height. Now it's looking like it's towards the knee height. So it doesn't take very long for the water to get really, really high. And actually at the end of this fight, it's already above waist and if I would have just let it uh, last out, I don't know why I can't say it. If I would have just let it drag out any longer, it would have been a problem. But as you can see, just use the center. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. He's pretty damn easy after that. This is actually a boss. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the boss that you need Lucatil to fight and stay alive in in order to progress her side quest. If she dies anywhere between getting to that boss or dying in the middle of fighting this boss, you cannot continue her side quest for the rest of the playthrough. So that's kind of one thing that you need to be careful of. What I recommend doing is clearing out every enemy, reviving yourself back with using effigies or if you're already a human then you don't need to worry about that and then summoning her and walking her directly to this boss because Lucatil kind of just goes wherever the hell she feels like and that can be very very problemsome if you want to finish her side quest at the end of this video I'm actually going to show you how I screwed up her side quest and it's actually very stupid very very frustrating but for now as you can see nothing's changed just keep going along but the only thing that's changed is that water keeps on rising if, if you can help it get a weapon that does higher damage because dancing around him will start to be out of the question as soon as the fight lasts longer and longer so going back to what I was talking about it's kind of frustrating um, I'm not gonna go too much into it but she died right outside the boat and as you can see right now I have a little bit of health loss that's because I, I did this whole area as a human. I ended up managing to get all the way. I unlocked the shortcut. I found her soul, uh, soul sign. And um, and I was right outside the boat. I went ahead and ran back thinking that that was it. Summoned her. And there was actually four enemies on that boat. So you need to make sure you clear those guys out as well. Because they're actually pretty dangerous if you fight all four of them at the same time. So they ended up knocking her off the pier and in blind rage I just couldn't believe it and what ended up happening to me was the same thing I got knocked off the pier and had to start all the way over and even though I unlocked the shortcut the run to this boss is a lot more difficult and I think that's to compensate the fact that he's actually very easy uh, you shouldn't really have too much trouble and if you are that's why I made this video so you guys can watch and you guys can learn but the run back is very, very difficult. You don't really want to do it. I actually died. And then when I came back the second time and actually fought him for my first time, he got knocked out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to actually stick around just for a little bit longer. I have to do my, uh, my bow to him because that was actually pure respect. He fought very, very admirably, if I have to say so. But that's taking it a little too serious. I tend to do that a lot in these 
videos but what can I say I really love it one thing to note when you climb up this ladder if you haven't been in this area before make sure you pick up the chest before you examine that thing in front of me and the reason why I say that is because I haven't found a way to get back on this boat and you really want to pick up this item right here this is actually very important for a lot of people and it's the pyromancy flame and the fireball now something that you really really want to get and like I said you want to make sure you open that chest before you examine this because after this cutscene it takes you to an area uh, known as the last Bastille and you're out the boat and I haven't really gotten found a way to get back in so make sure you pick up that chest I hope this guide really helped you out and like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and I'm gonna go ahead and add that little clip in but until next time take care